Hello again, it's Mitch Levin. Today we're going to be talking about how to build your financial fortress and, and, and what that really means. So when you build a house, the first thing you start with is the foundation. After that, you put up a few walls, and then finally, you have the roof. Now, what many of us do mistakenly is we're misallocated, which means we spend if we're going to buy, build a house for $100,000, would we tell the house builder to put $80,000 into the roof and only $20,000 into the walls and the foundation? That doesn't make a lot of sense. In fact, it makes a lot less sense when we look at what happened with the tsunami in Japan and Hurricane Katrina. What did we see from those aerial photographs? Well, all we saw after the end of that storm was the foundation. Everything else was blown away. So ask yourself this question. How much in your financial lives, in your financial fortress, do you want to have exposed to the elements? How much can you afford to have exposed to the elements? The important thing is you've got to have a roof exposed to the elements, you've got to have walls, and you've got to have a solid foundation. For many of us, we don't have a solid enough foundation. To have that solid foundation, we need to have our safe money here. Money that we know is never going to go backwards and we will never lose. Then we can have some money that's a little bit more risky. So ask yourself this question, how much of your money do you want at risk versus how much do you want to know that's safe and secure? Make great decisions.